Proag is one of the prominent UK speaker makers. They continue to persist making their products in UK and yet manage to do away from typical British sound. I always thought they sound more like Italian than British. In my opinion, Prague speakers tend to have a distinctive coloration that is favored to either violin or vocal, like Italian sonos favored speakers. Now this DB3 is the least expensive model from Prague's response range. There is strong resemblance between this DB3 and DB1. DB1 is, well, it's, it practically is a successor of Proax's legendary SC1. The critical visual difference between DB3 and DB1 is the woofer. DB1 has acrylic face plug, whereas this DB3 has fabric dust cap. Underneath this small difference, Proax claims DB3's woofer and crossover network are totally new design. Other than woofer difference, the only other visual difference between them is the bottom bit of the front baffle. DB1 has some sort of reinforcing wooden bar. I don't know what that does, but anyway. Whereas DB3 has none. Personally, I prefer DB3's more simple boxy design. Otherwise, both DB1 and DB3 are almost identical. Their dimension and the weight are identical. And the back panel looks the same. It is hard to look good with such simple design because the build quality has to come with it. I must admit, the speaker has the look and the build which justifies the premium price tag. DB3 certainly looks good in every corner and feels quite sturdy. I particularly like its non-glossy uh, silk white finish too. It is like satin white finish of BMW's current 700 series. DB3 can go low Prag claims DB3 can go low as 38 Hz. I have to admit that is something, especially for a bookshelf speaker. However, uh, DB3 manages to hit but fades rather slow. I would be happier to, with more rhythmic response than DB3. Some might like DB3's Scanspeak uh, 1 inch soft on Twitter. Proax's forte is color and that distinctive presence. And at the same time, they are not known for making particularly analytical nor uh, accurate speakers. DB3 inherits that distinctive color of Proax and has easier, more relaxing sound and at the same time, less analytical and sound less accurate than DB1. Honestly, DB3's sonic characteristic, I think, is too colored and soft for my preference. I'm afraid they somehow failed to capture the real face of the recording. Or at least the way I want it. I guess it's the kind of speaker unequivocally creates either love or hate. Does this mean DB3 is a failure? Not really. As I mentioned earlier, DB3 still manages to deliver Proax's distinctive color. For some, this may be the right speaker. There are many different preferences when it comes to speakers. Not everyone prefers either analytical, accurate speaker or speaker that delivers realism over speakers that are mellower or more relaxing. The fact is, DB3 can be more affordable solution than Proax's pricier DB1.
For someone who is after Swiss sound or chasing Prague's sonic signature, this might be the thing. I might bring more Prague in the future since I see some potential in Prague and I expect more from them. My next review will be Head Type 07 followed by Air Pearl's A100 or vice versa. Both of them are active speakers, so it might be interesting to see differences between them. Well, thanks for watching. See you soon. And Merry Christmas.